The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray, feeling good, Lewis. We're going to look at the FTSE starting off the show like we usually do. I'll follow that up with the DAX in just a moment, but I wanted to chat with you here for a second, folks. Uh, I was listening to Basil's show before we were started. I prepared the charts for the next uh, hour. And uh, when, ba when Basil tells you to be careful and to be nervous, uh, <laughs> You better be nervous. He hasn't been nervous in a long time. So I see nervousness all over this market. The problem that exists out there, folks, is if you believe that that Federal Reserve has your back, you better go back and look what happened in 2000 and go back and look what happened in 2008 because the Fed didn't have the back when the NASDAQ dropped 85% both times. Ah, maybe this time is different, but then again, maybe it's not. If you'll notice, some of these markets are getting hit pretty hard. We've had a little bit of a sell-off here in the crude oil. We were at $85 a barrel just three weeks ago, and Goldman Sachs was telling us this has $100 a barrel written all over the top of it, and it may have. But right now, we're trading at 67 and that's a long way from 100 Anyway, uh, I just want you to be careful, folks. I have uh, posted some things here. Uh, that look really interesting, but in fact, you, you just never know what's going to happen. But I know people, you know, they say, well, if you don't know, why in the hell am I paying you? Hell, don't pay me. Do the work yourself. I'd love for you to do the work yourself. Fortunately, some of you folks are, and that really makes me very, very happy. Let's go over and talk a little bit about crude oil, okay? Yesterday, we were talking about crude oil. Well, let's get the big one up here so we can see where we are. Uh, right now, because crude oil is, as what we say, folks, at the proverbial uh, moment of truth. We'll get it up here. You'll be able to see it here in a second. Okay, one second here. Get it up here, and then we'll chat about this. Okay, here's crude oil over the last six months. You'll notice that we made a beautiful ABCD down there in August. That was at $62 a barrel. We ran up to, uh, uh, what, $86 a barrel. No, excuse me. Yeah, $86 a barrel. And look where we are. We're down to today's low was a 78% retracement of that low. So that low at 66 uh, uh, 89 has to hold today. Otherwise, you know, we're looking at some serious trouble. The crude oil has been in trouble for quite some time, folks. If you'll notice the, the first Gartley that it stopped there at 75, and then we had that three-day rally. Folks, that three-day rally was a rally to get short. I mean, it had everything in there that you could possibly ask for. You were sitting right at a 382 retracement on the darn thing. And not only that, but it started down very, very quickly and didn't, you know, didn't give any uh, uh, notice of what was going on. Let me just uh, show you this 382 that we were talking about here because, uh, you know, repetition is the mother of knowledge. And uh, you'll notice here that you'll see the 382 retracement. And then we had those equal moves. Those are those dark black lines. Now, we went about 60 pips above the 382. But frankly, if you would have taken the 382 on the higher number back there, it would have been exact there at 7280. But from there, folks, we've broken down. We're making new lows. Now, the new lows today is extremely important because we're right at that 78% level. We have to hold that level. Folks, remember, the news follows the trend, and they are feeding us stuff that just doesn't make any sense. They keep telling us about uh, the super high inflation, and yes, there are problems in certain areas, but I'm going to go through some of these commodities here today, and you're going to see here that, hey, you know, we got lower prices, you know, coming down the path here. I mean, that's, uh, you know, that's a main thing that you've got to remember that these, the <laughs> when the only way is up, the only way is down. So just remember that what goes up must come down. And speaking of that, we've had a couple that have been uh, extremely good to us uh, over these past few days. If you remember here, this was the one we were looking for the big top up here in wheat. Uh, we got right up there within a heartbeat of it. 
Uh, yesterday, we had that little pullback right to the 61% retracement at uh, 852. We dropped to 60 cents a bushel from that level. And so we're, we're having some really big corrections in some of these things. And I think it's important that you pay attention to these things because, uh, you know, none of these markets are going to go up forever. You know, well, maybe they will, but right now they're in sort of corrective modes. Here is another one that we need to chat about. Uh, I'm not in this, but I know Mr. Z, I think probably if, he, if he's not in it, he's probably adding the contracts right here. Because right now in the uh, in the uh, coffee, we've had a four-day correction. It stopped exactly at the 382 retracement of the low we made back on November 8th. So as long as coffee doesn't get below 228, this still has a bullish bias. But that's where we are in it right now is we've had a four-day correction after making that uh, expansion up there at uh, 247. So this is a very, very bullish market. It's, it's bullish as long as it doesn't take out that 382. If it takes out that 382, it's not going to be bullish. Now, I, I, some people keep asking me why. Folks, I don't trade coffee because there's so darn much else to trade that I just don't have the time uh, to follow everything. That's, <laughs> that's, that's the bottom line of the darn thing. Hold on here. I wanted to show you. This is one of Ruby's favorite. That We had this massive double top up here. In the uh, hold on one second here, and we'll get this up here. Oh, this allergies today are really uh, for some reason we've got a lot of things in bloom here in December, and that is very unusual. We had so much water this year here in the desert that these plants are confused about what's spring and what is winter, and we're having 85 degree weather, so it's uh, it's pretty nice here. Now, if you'll notice here, the uh, the the double top that we've had in sugar. You know, look what's happened since that's dropped over $2,000 a contract. And, uh, you know, now we're determining whether we're going to have any support down here at $18 a pound. Now, remember, folks, that sounds like a lot. But the high price in sugar was in 1966 at $65 a pound. And it has never uh, gone anywhere near that price anymore. I think this the retracement that we had four years ago at uh, $25 a pound, which was a 382 retracement, stop sugar from going down. And that was another one that I think is uh, pretty important. Now, there is a, uh, I hope, hopefully I can get this chart up and show you what I'm trying to show you here. This is going to be a little bit small for us, folks, but this is all I could get this morning. This is where the problem lies, folks. This is the Australian dollar versus the U.S. dollar. It's weakening badly. Look at the ABCD that we had back there. I mean, that was a perfect Gartley right there. 50% retracement, ABCD, everything lined up. And now it's breaking down. This tells you that commodity prices are getting hurt, folks. Australia supply, supplies China. And if China's not buying, you know, who else is going to be buying? So that's why the Australian dollar is weak. Iron ore... All these things are getting hit. And, uh, you know, that shouldn't be happening if they're playing the tune of high inflation, high inflation, high inflation. Do you remember? I don't get on my soapbox. I, <laughs> I'm sorry, but I get excited about this because, you know, it's the same thing over and over again. You got to get used to the games that they play. Do you remember six months ago? Zero interest rates, zero interest rates, zero interest rates. Yeah, well, saw what happened there. 877-927-6648. Billy Ray Valentine, Capricorn. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. 
The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, I posted the chart of the euro. It's a 15-minute uh, chart. And as you know, we were buying at that 382 retracement at that 127 level. Today, it had a little over a $1,200 profit in it. <laughs> that was about 15 minutes ago. And uh, then as I noticed, the and I, what I did was I said, well, let's raise our stop to break even and see if this is uh, have a chance to run. We had a really nice profit in gold, 1400 today. But the, and of course, we were short the stock indices. But one of the things that I wanted to bring to your attention is what really happened uh, to the euro down there. Now, this is going to be a little bit smaller. Hold on. I think I might be able to blow it up a little bit. Yeah, I can't. There we go. Ah, there we go. Hold on one second here. We'll be able to see it. Now, this is a uh, long-term uh, long chart here, a daily on the uh, uh, the thing here, you'll notice here that we have uh, just made a 382 retracement today at that 137.66 level from the high that we made back on November 1st. Those those moves were exactly equal, folks. Uh, from November, uh, from late October to early November, we rallied about 150 pips. That's what we did this last time. Now, I assumed that was going to be the uh, bottom, but in fact, you know, it just just crashed. I mean, it just literally fell out of bed at the same time that the gold was falling out of bed. And so that's uh, all the gold did today was go up and make a 78% retracement level and then and then start down again. So the, I'm bringing this up to you because you, if you think that you get frustrated, I get frustrated too. Everybody, every trader does go through frustration because you see things and then they don't uh, do what you want them to do or they do and you're not in it. That's all part of what we have to do here, folks. The difference between you and me is I shake that stuff off. I don't really care because I know that, you know, there's another trade coming down the pike just as easy as the one that uh, that you had when you got in the trade. Now, you don't know which one. Now, I, 
I assume when you have a thousand dollars, I made a bad mistake there. Sure, I should have booked it, booked at least three hundred dollar profit in it. I'm on the show here, and this thing started down just as the show started. Uh, whatever that it was, about time, five minutes before the show. So there's no way that I can send a chart out and say, "Hey, raise your stop to a three hundred point three hundred dollar profit," because I just don't have the time to do that. But if you're in it and you're, you're seeing something like that, if you've got eleven hundred dollar profit in something and you don't hear from me, God, don't let that thing go to break even. Because when I sent that thing out, you know, we were trading at about oh, thirty or forty pips under the old high, but still with a a seven hundred dollar profit. Then when it goes up, it looks really great, and then all of a sudden, boom! So the secret to this, it's not how I'm saying it again. I keep saying it till you believe me. It's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose. And I know that's a hard thing to grasp, but uh, it's great. Uh, one of uh, Trudor Jones's favorite sayings is, you know, as winners think, how much money I can lose. Losers think how much money I can win. That's why when you go into a Las Vegas casino or any casino, you see these beautiful flashing lights everywhere. And folks, when I go into casino, I always play some slot machine for 20 to 40 bucks. 40 bucks is my minimum. I usually pay a dollar machine. If I don't hit it on 40 spins, they send me a ticket saying go home and I go home. So that that's just entertainment. That's all it is. But I happen to be quite lucky. So sometimes, you know, I have some pretty good ones. But Anyway, it's not how much money you make. It's about how much money you don't lose. If you focus on that, that's it. That's what the Floor Trader Handbook is all about, folks. That ABCD pattern that we deal with here lines up with everything that you could possibly do for trading. I mean, Basil uses them. Tom O'Brien uses them. Steve Rhodes uses them. Now, they use them maybe a little bit differently. I keep mine just as simple as possible. But uh, if you'll just do that, you're going to be – you know, far better off. Now, let's take a couple look. Take a look at a few other things. Uh, by the way, I did see that 382 in the uh, the, re the reason why I saw it is you'll you'll notice on that chart that the limit miner went off to tell me that it hit the 382. And uh, by golly, by the time I saw it, I mean you can see the collapse that we've had in the euro. It's dropped about 80 pips here in about 15 minutes, and that's that is highly unusual. And I and it's, I know the Fed chairman speaking and stuff like that, but I, I don't know if it's whatever the reason is. We'll have to wait and see. There's another market that has uh, has really uh, surprised everybody. And here again, you've got tremendously bullish news, just like we did in crude oil. Look at look at where we are now in natural gas, folks. The the high that we made on Friday with that uh, pattern up there that was a 382 retracement to the high at 640. We now broke below 450 today, folks. The last two days, folks, has been a $12,000 move in crude oil with a margin of 2,900. Now, you tell me where you can get, uh, you know, leverage like that. I mean, to get a $12,000 move in the S&P, the margin on those trades are around $13,000. It's six times what it is on natural gas. And natural gas is a large contract. It's, it's a big one. So it's bigger than gold. <laughs> All right, let's move on here to the next one here that we've got to talk about. If you have any questions, folks, I need to take a little sip of water because I took a little uh, antihistamine for these. Okay, all right. I, we have these Palo Verde trees that are blooming three times a year. Usually they only bloom once. All right, now let's. We've talked about the sugar, we've talked about the coffee. Uh, we need to talk about another one that has been very good to us, even though we don't trade it. Uh, I have I made a, a uh, consulting uh, deal with somebody for a hundred bucks. This is more of a less a ghost, a go, a joke. But here is palladium, folks. Look at the three eight two and palladium. Now you have a perfect, uh, just about a near perfect ABCD right at the three eight two. Takes out the high of October by about a dollar, and then drops from twenty two hundred dollars to under. We're hit under seventeen today. So and this is this is something that is used in all the electronic stuff, the batteries, electronics, and everything. I don't know how it's used in it, but I know that that's one of the key components uh, in these components. So this is telling us that maybe demand for some of this stuff is slipping a little bit. All I know is, folks, the news that is out there, it's so ridiculous to even listen to it anymore because some of it is 
I, I wish I knew a channel to go to. Well, I don't even like to watch the news, so I don't even watch a channel. So let's not worry about it. Just be, be really careful about what they're trying to feed you out there, folks. Remember the one thing that you've got when you've got these charts, and that is you've got something that says, look, if there's more buyers and sellers, the prices are going up. Okay? If there's more sellers than buyers, prices are going down. That's really all you really need to know. You don't need to know more than that. I mean, that's just amazing. Look look at this wheat chart, folks. Look at this wheat chart. I mean, this thing, a perfect three drive to a top pattern. Look at the ABCD starting back on the left. And we bought gold down there at seven something. We, that was a one, three, five pattern and had a nice run. But look, you make an ABCD. That ABCD, folks, measures to 872. The high on the, the this happens to be the, uh, the December wheat. The 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 high on this contract was eight seventy four two cents, and now it's trading thirty five hundred dollars under that. I mean that's uh that's the kind that you look for. Now we don't get them all, but you know we do get some of them. But that's it. We're going to take a break. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den trading room, trading software, and educational web webinars for all trading levels. And make sure you check out Tiger TV for free on TFNN.com or TFNN's YouTube channel for live financial content from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern on market days. Stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com.
Okay, folks, we're going to switch gears here a little bit. We'll go into Never Never Land, and that is uh, something I never trade, and that is cotton to fluff. You'll notice here the cotton made a 382 retracement. Then it went up and made new highs. Then it made a perfect 135 pattern, folks. You can see it right on the chart there, downtrend, lower tops, uh, had a 382 retracement. Look what happened when we broke the 382 retracement uh, yesterday. I mean, we dropped, uh, what, four cents uh, in cotton. We're still down quite a bit from that level. So the reasoning behind this particular pattern, and you see it in everything, We the same pattern that we're showing you right now, and if you'll just, you know, Defy human nature. Do the work yourself. Take this chart right here. Look at it. Put it on your desk. Then pull up a half-hour chart on the S&P and go look and see exactly what you're seeing here right now. Because that 135 hat, 135 pattern happened in the S&P last night. I sent it out before it happened because we could see it happening. It was easily to see that we were right at 0 0.5. So that was trading at uh, 46, uh, oh, I think it was 46.65 or something like that is where it was. So, And it had a break of, you know, 50 handles. So, you know, we, I think we went a little bit lower, but I'm not sure where we are right now. Anyway, pay attention to that pattern. But you got to do these yourself, folks, because, uh, you know, I'm really good at doing these uh, charts, especially in, in, in uh, past tense. In other words, <laughs> if you ask me what happened in the past, oh, gosh, am I good at that. In the future, eh, mezzo, mezzo. Not so much, so much. Anyway, by the way, if you happen to be in the Hebrew faith, make sure you light the second candle tonight of Hanukkah, and uh, we'll be able to uh, do that. I have to tell you a funny story, folks. You're, you're going to laugh about this, but this is, this is really true. When I was finally going to college uh, after my illustrious sporting career in, in high school with very little academic, uh, so I had to go to uh, – I was going to go to school – and so uh, my, wife, my wife, my mother said to me, she says, now look, she says, they're going to probably ask you to join a fraternity. She said, and that's okay. She says, but look, she said, I want you to hang around the Jewish boys. And I said, because we had very few Jewish people in Terre Haute, Indiana. There were a few we went to school with, but very, they went away to school. Anyway, I said, why, Mom? She says, well, first of all, she says, they have better manners than you. Second thing is, she says, they're much smarter than you. And the third thing is, she said, they're socially connected. And she said, if you do that, she said, you'll probably make some contacts. I said, okay, Mom, I will, I will do that. So anyway, that's... Uh, that's neither here nor there. Anyway, I I, I was a typical mama's boy, folks. I talk, after after I left college, uh, I talked to my mom every day. I don't think I missed a day that I didn't call her. I know that's probably being a little, little too close, but we were very close. Unfortunately, I lost her when she was uh, 48 years old. But uh, and heck, hey, I was only <laughs> what am I what am I talking about? I was only I was only 32, so it was uh, we were almost the same age, almost. Anyway, let's move on here. Uh, to cover a couple things here. Uh, I've covered the charts that I wanted to cover today, folks. So I, I really want to give you a warning of what's going to happen here. The reason why I'm trying to give you this warning is I've seen it before. And if you think that the Federal Reserve has your back, you're going to be very naive. Just look what happened in 2000. Look what happened in 2008. And this time, they're not going to be able to even help themselves because this market is built on debt and la la stuff. I know, I know everybody thinks it cannot happen, and there's only a few people out there that are sensing something really sinister. Hey, and I hope I'm wrong. I hope I'm wrong, but the, the markets right now are telling you to be really, really careful. You're going to come in here some morning, and there might be a game changer. It could be a uh, catastrophic, a volcano. It could be uh, somebody like uh, J.P. Morgan is, you know, I don't know what it could be. It'd be something create long-term capital, something like that. But the Fed will come in and try to help it and stuff. But there's only so many things the Fed can do. And believe me, they are very, very overextended, just like most people. You know, we have the highest asset prices that we've had in the history of our country, if you're in stocks and real estate and stuff. But you're a poor person just working for a living. <laughs> you're not involved in this at all. So remind yourself this can be really nasty because the illiquidity that could hit these ETFs and some of these other things could be very, very painful. Look at Disney stock, folks. I mean, that's one of the premier stocks. That thing's been going down. Uh, PayPal, another one. I mean, some of these stocks are just not acting very nice at all. 
So uh, just be really careful. I, I'm not, you know, I, I'm not going to get on my uh, soapbox every day, but today uh, is is important because uh, I, I feel something sinister is coming, and I don't know what it is, and and I might and I might be 100 percent wrong, but and I think it's going to happen in the cryptos too, because uh, you know they've they've had a pretty good run, and uh, now uh, you know they're. You know, people are able to trade them, and there's more and more people. I think there's more people trading cryptos, actually, than are trading in the stock market. I don't think that's even a stretch of an imagination. So I'm going to start watching the cryptos just for trading purposes. But uh, there's uh, when I have a nervousness like this, folks, uh, I, you know, I'm wrong occasionally, but usually, you know, not this time, I don't think. You, those of you who've been following me for a long time, in, in 09, if you remember March 5th of 09, I said we're going to see the strongest short-covering rally that the market has ever seen. I said that. It compared to 1938, where the market went up 138%. Well, this one went from uh, <laughs> from October, from March the, the 5th of 2009. It uh, is still going up, so who knows? We got might have a question coming in here. And we have Michael from Niagara Falls. Michael, how are you, my friend? Yeah, hi there, Larry. Thanks for taking my call. You were talking about nasty. And uh, one look at AT&T. Uh, could this be the canary in the coal mine? I mean, I know there's a pending mm. dividend cut uh, to this uh, um, to the shares of the stock, but uh, um, it's, it's no, no, not Michael. No, well, it hasn't been behaving well for a long time, but AT and T would be like a, a moth in the in the in the in the coal mine, <laughs> not a really? not a kid. Oh yeah, no, this has got to be something. It's got it's got to shake people. It's got to scare people. I haven't scared anybody yet. My assumption is we're going to be probably down about ten percent or maybe more, and then they'll scare them. But the one wow. thing about the things I look at patterns, and the patterns have never failed me in all these years. Hey, I take losses along the way, but as far as knowing where in the heck. I am. I know pretty much where I am most of the time, and I see something disastrous coming. And I, uh -huh. I don't put it. I don't put it in the newsletter because I don't want to scare anybody. But I know uh -huh. I'm scaring some people now. But that's okay. And I and remember, I'm wrong a lot. You know. Yeah, I know you are. Yes, that's good. Thank you for reminding me. Remember, yeah. I was very, I was bearish at on Tesla at 300. And of course, I, I was bullish at 320. But no, the, I'm that's not okay. going to stay. Dave White. Dave White was bearish on Tesla at 100. Uh -huh. On his 2 p.m. show, and he kept uh, kept talking about how the transmissions were all going to blow, and uh -huh. the cars were going to be all all junk, it's all found in the junkyard. And, and where did Tesla go? I think it went higher. Uh. Yeah, it did. Well, we're all you're all wrong a lot. The difference is, is when you recognize you're wrong. And if we make new highs here, folks. Yeah. I will th I will put up the white flag and say, by golly. But right now, gee, it's just yeah. uh, you'll be hunting for Arizona roadkill, right? Uh, I always look for that every day, man. You put a little garlic and onion on the stuff; it's delicious. Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, Michael, thanks for calling in, my friend. I hope Niagara Falls doesn't freeze over this year. We'll be right back, folks. Eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Uh, okay, we're back, folks, and I posted the chart of the gold. As you know, I've been pretty bearish gold. I was bearish, and fortunately, unfortunately, I put the stop a little too close today, and uh, it's left me with another $3,000 leaving it on the table, but that's neither here nor there. We did make uh, 1400 which is okay. Well, it's not really okay, but that's it. Now, we've had a question from Bo in the den about Hewlett-Packard. I want to bring this chart up so we can take a quick look at it here. This is Hewlett Packard, folks. I hope. Let's give me my fondest hope that this chart did it. Po did it post? I know it's going to post a little squirrely, but can you see the uh, Hewlett Packard chart? Okay. Okay, I think you can. All right. The main thing is, uh, if you're in this bow, uh, it's acting very poorly. Make sure that you put a stop in. This is a much weaker than market stock, as you can see here. We're uh, taking out lows of last month, which is bad. So just be really careful uh, to look at it, and we'll be uh, we'll be able. To... Wait, it that's not Hewlett Packard. Oh, it's Oil Services. Well, there's another there's another. Th I, see, I, th I thought Hewlett Packard. H. I, what is what's the symbol for Hewlett Packard? I, maybe they've been taken over. I don't I don't do stocks, so I don't know. So evidently that's an oil stock. So that's telling you oil has been going down. So that's it. Oh, HPQ is uh, there. You go. HPQ is Hewlett Packard. Anyway, that this oil services stock is. Uh, it looks like it wants to go lower, much like with the oil market. Folks, remember that oil market. There's another perfect example. You know, people tell you there's going to be hundred dollar oil, the next thing you turn around, it's forty dollars. You know, remember, <laughs> you gotta, you gotta see what the action's doing. They can't lie to you here, folks. If you know, if they're telling you that prices are going to go higher and prices start lower, somebody's in there selling. So keep that in mind. That's that's one thing that the news is going to do is is they're going to give you misinformation, and you've just got to let the. That's why I'm a technician, I guess. You know, that's uh, really the bottom line. I don't know. So we'll see here. Okay. Oh. Now, David, David White's got a great quote in here. Do you ever wonder why leaving money on the table often is more painful than taking a loss? When we lose, there's never, there's never a number of ways we can shift the blame to the market to accept responsibility. But when we leave money on the table, we can't blame the market. The market didn't do anything, and for whatever reason, we didn't act appropriately, just like I did today in the gold market and also in the, in the euro market. Look at this. I had $1,200 in the euro. I ended up scratching the darn 
different thing. And I had uh, $1,200, uh, yeah, $1,400 profit in gold, and all I had to do was stay, and I have a $4,000 profit. So the only person I can blame now is David White for not bringing this to my attention earlier. No, you can't blame anybody else. It's just a responsibility. But he's right. Uh, what he's talking about there, that's the biggest thing uh, that the, the these professional guys that came here to visit Mark when he was writing that book, Trading in the Zone, the number one thing is that when they left money on the table, they really didn't like that. They, I guess they expected to get either the high tech or close to the high tech. But when they left money on the table, especially a lot, uh, that did bother them. And, you know, you, it doesn't make any difference. Just move on to the next trade. You know, Grandma Paz used to tell me, you know, always have two quarters in your pocket because if you don't get the girl on the first quarter on the bus, take the next bus and by golly, you're going to find one. And if that doesn't work, keep putting the quarters in until you do find the bus. Anyway, anyway, let's move on here to a couple other things that you might have uh, uh, interested in about. I'm bringing these things historically to your attention because this is 20 some years ago on some of this stuff, you know, and you don't remember it. So you've got to remember, especially that zero interest rate thing. Folks, I that to me was the dumbest thing I have heard in all of my 61 years of doing this stuff. That is the dumbest thing that I, uh, you know. Oh, there, this is a good one. He, David just posted uh, Mark Douglas's uh, idioms that he, he lived by. One, ob I objectively identify my edge. I predefine the risk on every trade. I accept the responsibility for every trade. I act on my hesitations without reservations or hesitation. I pay myself as the market makes money available to me. And I understand the absolute necessity of these principles are consistent with my success, and I should never violate them. So that's pretty much uh, what you want to be watching. Anyway, it's all about the mental part of this game. It's not how much money you make, folks. It's how much money you don't lose. Now, let me check to see what the old markets are doing here, because I believe we are getting ready. Oh, dear, they're really having a little fire sale over here in the old uh, NASDAQ today. And I believe that, uh, oh, they're having a fire sale in the S&P, too. Folks, be careful up in here because uh, these markets are acting very badly. They rally and boom, you blink your eyes and they're 100 points lower. So this is not a good sign. You know, I, hey, I can tell you, here's my prediction. The, the market was down 990, we'll call it 1,000 points. Uh, on Monday, all right? Uh, Tuesday, uh, well, started Monday, we rallied a little bit, which we did. That's nothing wrong with that. But uh, take the 1,000, multiply it times 1.618. The next daily drop in the S&P, the next daily drop in the S&P will be 1,600 points. And we've got Mr. Z in the house. John, how you doing? Larry, I'm fine. Thanks for taking the call. John, I had no choice. You were the only one on the line. <laughs> now, I'm a, hey, uh, how you um, <laughs> it was uh, it was fascinating this morning, uh, given the uh, relative strength of those big eight tech names uh, 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 comprised within that Nasdaq 100 futures contract. So we popped up, Larry. It's just unbelievable. We uh, popped up and peaked this morning. You know what? Nine forty-five, ten, whatever it was just, you know, 10 points away from the FIB 618 level. Why and how those FIB numbers seem to work and work and work just is amazing to me. Well, it's still amazing to me, John, and I've been doing it for, oh my goodness, many years now. So uh, I, all I know is I respect them so much, especially, you know, the 1.618 number, which is really, uh, really something. But look how quickly these markets are giving up the gains. I mean, that's a sign that fear is out there, but it's not really out there yet. When you start seeing fear in these things, you're going to see moves in these markets that are going to scare some people. And uh, I, want, I wanted to ask, uh, you've done all your prep work. You did it over the weekend for customers. Um, looking at the four-hour or the daily chart, Larry, I wanted to ask, do you have – any ideas of what target levels you'd see if, in fact, that uh, NQZ1 contract, the NASDAQ 100, breaks uh, last Friday's low? I think that low was 15,990 or thereabouts. If we break that, um, do you have any 
any ideas as to what you'd be looking for as far as lower prices? Yeah, well, all I would do is take the 1.27 of that move there. So that would be down about 800 points in the S&P. So that would take it down to probably somewhere around 4,100 to 3,900. But I think we're looking at something uh, really sinister here, very similar to what we saw in 08 and what we saw in 2000, John. Right. Thanks so much, Larry. Th thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, folks, I posted the uh, chart of the E-mini S&P after we were talking to uh, John. Uh, for, thanks for calling in, by the way. Uh, you'll notice here that we had the three uh, lower tops. That's the 135 pattern. I sent that out uh, right near the close uh, yesterday, uh, within an hour, and said, you know, you put your stop above that last high, which was at uh, 46.70. I said, and I think it was trading at 46.64 at the time, I said, that's all your risk is. And, you know, you can see where I came up with that 1.618 expansion. That brings you down another couple hundred points. Now, uh, whether it's going to get there, I'm not sure, but it started in the right direction. If you notice the thrust that we're having today is actually exceeding the thrust that we had on Monday. So fear hasn't come in yet, folks, but it's out there. It's lurking. And when you start to see it, I don't know what the reasoning is going to be. It could be fear of COVID. It could be 
it could be anything, you know, I, and I, I don't know. It might not be nothing. <laughs> I don't know. All I'm saying is be careful. Hey, look, it's not just me. There's, you know, I, I respect everybody that we have here at TFNN. But, but let me tell you, Basil Chapman is a little younger than me, but he's been doing this for a very long time. And when he tells you to be nervous, you better be nervous because that guy has been, you know, he's been bullish for a very long time. And Steve Rhodes has too. But Basil is telling you the last few days, he said, yep, some of these are still going up, but be a little careful in here. Be a little careful in here. Pay attention to the old master, folks. He knows what he's talking about. Uh, I'm seeing the same thing, and I'm also feeling it in my bones when I look at all these charts. Look at these commodity prices falling, folks. That's not a bullish market, you know, and they're telling us that, you know, re inflation's running wild. Yeah, it is for a short period of time, but if prices of houses and cars come down, we're not going to have much inflation. And the first time they put a chip in a car that can sell, look out, and prices of cars will drop 20 or 30%. So we've got this straight-up flagpole economy, and that's what scares me the most. When I look at that, I say, oh, brother, where are the vout? Because this is where we were in 2000, and this is where we were in 2007. With that, I will get off my soapbox. See you tomorrow. J.C. Parrots, all-star charts will be our guest. <laughs>